what is happening snap on fans welcome back to another video so i've decided to add a little something to the channel um, and we're gonna do saturday snappy talk so sometimes i go through the products um in the video pretty quick and i'll show you everything that's in the delivery and there's a few items that sometimes i think i should, probably should have gone a bit more in depth of that or if there's a range of stuff um the differences so i've decided to add this to the channel so yes yeah, saturday snappy tool talk that is what we're going to be doing and today this video is going to be aimed at our multimeters as i said in the last video i would do a quick um overview of the differences between the multimeters as they go up from the basic the enhanced and the advanced um and obviously some of the differences between the older and the new model so yeah what more could you ask for more tools more videos it's got to be done so let's get into it without further ado let's get into some multimeter tool talk so starting off we have the basic multimeter now this is an entry level um multimeter probably our lot like, lower range multimeter so if you're not very clued up with electrics um, or multimeters this is probably the one to go for if you're just starting to get into electrics this should probably be the one to go for now part number on this is EEDM 504F and there's a lot of features from this to our old ones. Now our old ones used to be upright. Now there's a lot of problems with the vertical multimeters over the horizontal. First being if you had um, a job where you're working on uh, something in an engine bay and the engine was running and it rattles that can fall over. Same as if you're working under a dash you can knock it because it's tall it can knock off knock over quite easily so obviously by having it horizontal with a kickstand it's a bit harder to knock it over it's a bit more stable next big thing is obviously by having it horizontal over vertical we can make the screen bigger now what i mean to you guys is what every application that you're working on whether you're in a tight area or just looking at something on an engine bay and it's a bit further away you can always see the screen so it makes it bigger so you can always see the information that you need at any given time. Another cool feature we've added is these two channels that run top and bottom. So what that gives you ability to do is if you are finished with it or you use your multimeter quite regularly, you can just wrap the cables around it and then obviously use this tie here to keep them in place. Whereas the old one, if you did that with it, you would wrap it around. There's nowhere to lock them in place and it would kind of just unravel in your box and make it a mess. Now, all three of these multimeters have true RMS, which is the most accurate way to measure AC voltage as it measures in real time instead of like a, an overall average. And as cars get more like advanced, you need more accurate information. So stuff like ABS systems and, and stuff like that, you need true RMS to be able to see what's going on. So all three of these multimeters have that. Now the basic is CAT2 rated, so it's not hybrid rated. For hybrid rated, you need CAT3. Um, as you can see, it's pretty standard. Um, it's got all your, your volts, millivolts, ohms, hertz, milliamps, amps, everything that you'd expect to see on a multimeter, it has on there. Now, obviously, it comes with a little bag to protect it and a set of leads. Um, so, yeah, that's the basic one. And now we'll move up to the enhanced. So, the enhanced. Part number on this, EEDM 525F. Now, there's a few little differences between this and the basic. First being is the screen. Now, you can see on this one, compared to the basic, that this has got a colour um lcd backlit screen which is going to make the viewing pleasure a lot better for the end user this now also has a low pass filter which the basic one doesn't this is cat 3 rated so it is hybrid rated as well um next step up on this this also has capacitance which is basically a voltage storing measurement that allows electric motors to start up without lag so that would be really handy to use on testing um, hybrid motors and motors on combustion engines, I suppose. But yeah, real handy for using stuff on um, hybrids. And the next thing on this that is not on the basic is 
temperature. Now, when I show the customers um, the fact that these have temperatures, a lot of people sort of say, well, why would I need to measure temperature? I'm here to measure voltage. What's, what's the point to have temperature on a multimeter? Now, not everyone has, um, or not all techs have um, a device for measuring temperature. And temperature can tell you a lot about a vehicle or something that's um, wrong that you might not be able to diagnose through a diagnostic machine um, or see off the naked eye. So there's lots of stuff you can use it for. You can use it to see the temp of an alternator, to see if it's out of spec. You can use it to see if there's blockages on before and after a pipe, or you can use it for like uh, post, pre and post um, temps. So if you've done like a thermostat, you can use it to see the temp before and the temp after. So it's kind of an all-in-one device to have. Um, so yeah, this is probably... This and the advanced are probably the, the the two biggest sellers that I have. Um, so sort of depending where people want to be. So from that one, we then go up to the advanced, which is this bad boy right here. So part number on this one is EEDM five nine six FK. Now this comes with a really snazzy bag. Stay there, my Mia. And obviously it comes with a nicer bag than the other two. The other come with just um, like a, a pouch bag. Whereas this comes with a, a proper case, the leads, temperature gauge um, leads and an RPM pickup, which we'll come to in a second. Now, this one has lots of features over the enhanced. So it pretty much takes everything that the basic and the enhanced has and pushes it all into this one and then adds a few more features on top as well. Now, as you can see, it's got color screen the same as the um, enhanced. You'll see down the side here um, that you've on the, the buttons on the side on the advanced, you've got um, a few more options over the enhanced version. Now, one thing you're gaining on this as we go up on the last one, we had temp. This also has temp, but what this has is the ignition. And like I said, you have got the R RPM um, tester in there as well. That's another feature people overlook. Um, when I say to people about the RPM or they see RPM, they're sort of just like, what, what's that on there for? What do, I, what do I need that for? What would that be of any beneficial use to me for? So... RPM's really important, especially if you're working on a lot of older functional tests on older vehicles that have points to OEM spec, such as um, duty, dwell, MS pulse width and uh, frequency. So it gives you the ability to be able to see what's going on with the cylinder, um, the firing um, and the pickups. So it gives you tons of information, again, um, that a diagnostic machine might not give or you might overlook with a diagnostic machine it just gives you that extra bit of um, knowledge that you might not have necessarily had before and again like I say it's probably something that you might not use all the time but it's something um, if you know it's there that can get you out of a situation where you might be struggling to, to sort a problem out and yeah it's just a handy feature to have on your multimeter now this also measures in pulse widths, um, which can basically help you um, figure out faults such as injectors. So if they're not like functioning properly. Now this is important at testing the injector at the right time of the pulse that is happening. So it can give you the right uh, reading um, to tell you that if, if the injector's a little bit off or not. So that's really good. These measure really quickly. They're like one millisecond. So they're really fast at catching um, the data. So obviously all three of these are auto ranging and manual ranging. But the thing that makes this one stand out from the crowd is this little button here, the Bluetooth button, which I'm now gonna grab my iPad to show you how easy this Bluetooth function is to set up. Now, People often say, I'm not paying for Bluetooth. Why would I need Bluetooth? There's lots of reasons that you could use Bluetooth. You might be um, a guy that works on your own or you might be a mobile mechanic. And it's very hard to be in two places at once. Um, you could also work in a shop with numerous people and you like to be self-efficient. You don't like to pull other people off from a job or 
you might just not like people in the shop i don't know you don't want to you don't want to have them hanging around while you're working so this gives you the ability to be in two places at once for instance if you were at the back of the car and you had a fault with um the rear brake lights now you've test the brake pedal switch and you can see that that's working but obviously you want to see what's happening when you press the brake pedal at the back of the car it's hard to be in two places at once so this is how it works so we go to our app store and we download the app and we type in the part number eedm 596 fk and it will come up with this app now all we do then is go to our unit and we press the Bluetooth button once and you'll now see that the button is flashing on the screen there. Now what we do here is click connect, it will search for a device, we found our device and now that will now connect and that will now connect to our multimeter. Now the cool thing on this is as I change on the multimeter you can see live on the screen it changes so i can change this at the back now what this gives me the ability to do is if i am using this in the back of the car so i can leave this in the back of the car now what i can do is go to the front of the car and this is still reading still accurate and still it's telling me everything i need to, 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 to know so I get the ability to be in two places at once. So now I, while I leave the multimeter at the back of the car connected up to the tail light, I can now go into the car, turn the ignition on, do all the checks that I need, and I can see what's happening here. Now, the buttons across the button, now you can't change this. You can only do that through the multimeter, but you can change um, the range, record, um, and all the different stuff across the bottom another cool feature with this in the app is as you can see it through a graph so that's a real handy thing to have that you can have it in a graph format instead of this you could miss something quite easily another cool feature is we can hit the record button so if you were um doing a job like i said if you've connected it up and you're going around to do something in the front of the car you can record this live so you won't miss anything or if you're out on a test drive as well um so as we stop on record we can save that, we can put a title to technician, um, work order, customer, there's some notes and stuff in there, um, and then we can click apply. If we click results in the top corner, we can see then I can go back to that, I can send it to um, an email, I can print it, I can attach it to a job card, give it to the customer, again like I said, pre and post, tons of stuff you can do and it's so worth having um, that feature on a multimeter. Again, something people massively overlook, um, but it's something that could really help and benefit um, you when you're working on certain jobs. So that's pretty much it. So that's the three differences in the multimeters, whether you're going from the basic, the enhanced or the advanced to the top of the range one. Um, there's a sort of a platform for all of you out there, depending where you wanna be. So I've got all three of these on a promotion this week um, so if any of my customers want to come and um, see more about these or if you would like to know more speak to your dealer I'm sure they'll be happy to help so yeah until the next time I will catch you on the road enjoy and I will see you again on another Saturday for another Saturday snappy tool talk catch you on the road